so the challenge one is to add additional campaign member status in the campaign member object for a particular type of campaign recall track so we are going to create a record triggered flow for this a expected output for this is uh we are going to add the declined and registered and uh yeah so we will not change anything against the is default and the responded one so apart from the sent and responded we are going to add the declined and registered member status let's fill out some details Let's put the status maybe in progress. Stop date 28, end date 38. Uh, all of the details, I think we don't need to fill it here. That's fine, we can leave it as it is. So once we have created the campaign, uh, we can see here all the details are filled in the related tab if you see the campaign member status so there are just two status here uh, the responded and the sent so the responded check mark is against the responded here and the is default check mark is corresponding to the sent member status here so next let's create a new flow we're going to create a record triggered flow here uh, you can choose auto layout or freeform i'll prefer freeform for myself so this is our start element so we are going to configure the trigger when a record is created and after the record is saved So I'm going to choose here the campaign object and conditions let's specify none because we don't have any specific record types. <laughs> let's put an assignment element here uh, with the name member status. Let's create a new resource of type variable. API name, maybe we can keep status. New status, we need to add new status here. Uh, data type should be text. It's a collection variable, a variable for input. Okay, so here we're going to add the value registered new assignment so again in the new status variable we are going to add the value declined done we're going to connect here now let's create a loop to loop over the status values Status. Sorry, it was a decision one. Uh, we're going to get here the loop. Loop over status. Collection variable is the new status variable from first item to last. We're going to connect from assignment to loop here. After looping over the different new values, we are going to create records on the campaign member status object. So we begin from here. Campaign member status. How many records to create one? Uh, here we're going to set use separate resources and literal values. 
object will be campaign member status. So here we're going to set the values in the field of campaign member status object. Uh, let me put on the campaign ID under which so campaign ID will be from the global record of campaign here. I dot ID so I'm going to find the campaign ID mm. campaign ID and the label we're going to enter the values of status so we're going to choose a current item from the loop loop over status done then you're going to save the flow You can put the description so this is basically your only document uh, that you can have maybe um, we are going to add new campaign member status in the campaign member status object Or maybe something which is more uh, um, you know user friendly or which you can actually comprehend later in a better way save activate we're going to link back it to the loop okay so now let's create the campaign to see actually whether our flow is working or not let's create a new campaign let's put the campaign name uh, let's put any type maybe webinar status in progress uh, let's put a start date of 28th may and date of 30th of may uh, let's save the campaign okay now let's check whether new campaign member status are created or not here you can actually see on the screen so uh, we created declined and registered campaign member status which are actually shown here under the campaign member status uh, related list 